just keep your hand nice and level and open for me. And when I ask you, close your thumb. All right. Yeah, do one. Close your thumb. Step down, Indy. There we go. Now, we're not touching Indy at the minute because she's been a bit narky because she's got, she's molting. So, very itchy. But what you can do is take this berry, and offer it up to her, she'll take it off you. Okay. Uh, being a scavenger bird, she'll eat absolutely anything. Favourite thing in the world is strawberries and fruit and anything that I'm eating. And she <laughs> loves cheese. So you always have to share. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're a bonded pair pretty much now. Um, what, that's what you've got to do with these corvoids when you use your hand rearing. You've got to pr pr build a really strong bond. Because by the time she gets to between 24 and 28 months old, she'll make the final decision, the biggest decision she ever makes in her life. And that'll be to stay with me or to leave. And I don't mean physically leave as in fly off. She will either, she will either carry on being what she is and what we've trained her to be, or she'll revert to being massively wild, massively aggressive to humans, especially me. Okay? That means she'll have to go into a breeding program. Okay. Now, they're very long lived. This bird will probably outlive me 50 plus in captivity. Uh, but if we stay as a bonded pair, then when I go, she'll starve herself to death more than likely. She'll die of a broken heart. Because that's how strong the bond is. As you can see, and you obviously you'll know anyway, they're not black. Uh, if it's a red sky at night or in the morning, it's actually metallic green and purple. Blue usually during the day, but she does change with the, the various colours. Well, the, it's all, all the iridescence is there for two reasons. To make them look good to their partners, and also to reflect the sunlight. Now, you see this feather coming through at the side, there's nothing wrong with that. That's how the feather's gone through, sheathed in skin, okay, to keep them good. And as they grow, the skin dries up, drops off, or she pecks it off, which is what she's doing now, and reveals a beautiful feather. But what happens is the dust that's created by that drops into the feather bed and makes it really itchy. And that's why we're not touching it today, because she's irritable. Okay, and the last thing we want, the last thing I want is for her hurting somebody. You know, and there's no actual need for her to do that. The more she does it, the more she feels it's acceptable. Um, plus, that beak's really strong. She yeah, knows exa and she knows like exactly how to use it, yeah. Yeah. and she knows how to give you a little blood blister and a little hurt for the next three days, and she knows how to take a big chunk out of you as well. <laughs> so she's Ronnie how she's related to She's brother of. Brother. No, sorry, sister of. Okay, so eight, eight and a half years between, and the parents have had plenty of other siblings that have mostly all gone to the tower. Because the, the parents three to the tower alone and have for 12 years. So, yeah, I must, I've been on the waiting list for one for five and a half years before I got her. <laughs> so, yeah, massively lucky. She wasn't actually supposed to come to me. Somebody else had put a big deposit down on it. And then when it came to time to pick the bird up, they couldn't co contact the people who put the deposit in, so they tried emailing, phoning, and even knocked the door a couple of times, nothing. So they eventually f sent them a message saying, if you don't pick her up within 24 hours, she's gone, and so is your deposit. It's not returnable. So I got a phone call 24 hours later. You've got 48 hours to come up with a residual if you want it. So I flogged everything, ran around, getting rid of everything, and then went and picked her up. I'm glad you did that. Oh, me too, me too. So you oh, you see no nibbler, stab it. So if you open your thumb, step up in. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that was an experience.